So, Leah, I'm seeing some bottles and other bits and pieces. What have you got planned for us today? Bits and pieces being the operative term, my yeah. friend. Yeah. We're recycling these old bottles and giving them a new lease on life. And I love green bottles. They look oh, yeah. so great. And we're going to upcycle this insert for a lampshade. We're going to actually make a bottle chandelier. Oh. Very I cool. know, Very and it's cool. actually so easy. It is so easy to do and it is so effective. All right, well, the first thing that we need to do is get the bottles and I am going to be the person who puts a bit of glue on the inside because we want to make sure with these corks, we're actually going to be sealing these corks into the bottles and we want to make sure that they're incredibly sturdy and safe and these corks cannot come out again. No, okay. okay. So I'm going to be the gluer and you're going to be the cork stuffer. Okay for want of a better term. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. All right. Woo! Watch out for those little cobwebs. Have to be quick. Yes. Oh. OK. OK. That is going I've got them in. They're in pretty tight. Yeah. Is that what you're well, talking about? This is, I, you know, case in point, these need to be in very, very tight because at the end of the day, they're going to be suspended by the cork. Okay, so now is the fun part. Let's line these bottles up. Okay. Now they're all corked. And we're going to get these little eyelets. Now, mm -hmm. these are great because they've got the little screw and basically we're just going for the middle mm -hmm. and just putting pressure on it as you do. It's a little tricky and just with ridiculous... screwing them in the top in the middle? Screwing them into the top in the middle. Okay. Okay, fantastic. So this particular element, as I said, this came out of a lampshade, which is what we want. And I have the cord here, so I'm just going to attach that. It's really quite unbelievably simple when you, you come up with that. some pretty good ideas. OK, so you just screw that in. Yep. And th that little assembly there, yes. where'd you pick that up? So you can get them from hardware stores anywhere. Just ask, really? OK, so that is how it's going to sit. Yeah, I get it. You that's get good. It? You're yeah, digging yeah, the vibe? Cool. All I'm right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to attach these eyelets with the bottles to the frame with cable ties. So simple. So just, yep, yeah, so okay. you yep. thread it through. You've used cable ties oh, before, I sure you, have. Sir? Sure have. OK, and then up and then through. And then really lock it down, like... Got it. Yeah. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. And then, once we've done that... Snip off the excess. I'm going to snip off the excess. Oh, now, making sure that they're evenly spaced too, eh? So oh, OK, yep. I was, actually, I was just going guns you, are blazing then. I know. I'm, I know. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much the crux of it. But you should never, ever suspend any lighting feature by the cord mm. unless it's got some support. Now, this has a bit of weight on it because we do have five bottles, even though we have secured them in with our glue gun. So what I'm going to do is I've actually already cut three pieces uh, good idea. of chain to 60 centimetres each because I kind of think that's a pretty good fair drop. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do here is right across each one, I'm going to cable tie this piece of chain to it. So just let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go across here. I'm going to loop him in there. And then I'll just pop him down there. And then it just locks it into place so it won't move. OK, so that's how it shall sit, and I'll trim that up in a sec, but that is one part of what is going to be suspending this. All right, so all we have to do here is just put on the last of these chains and then we can hang it up. That looks awesome. And what is the most awesome part about this particular light that we've made is it was made from stuff, pretty much all of it was destined for the trash except for the cord and the globe. But everything else was basically going to be binned. So we've recycled, we've upcycled and we've made a lamp that's got so much character and personality. You couldn't buy this in a shop. No, no way. Another bright idea. What a corker.